Oh gosh, where's Dr. Romano? I've got to find him quick. I've gotten more emails today. Students don't know how to study the DAT Destroyer and they're getting low scores. Dr. Romano? Dr. Oh, Dr. Romano! There you are. Thank God I've been looking all over for you. Oh, We've been getting. Oh my God, I've been getting a lot of emails. I got five more emails today with students that aren't doing the whole DAT Destroyer book and they're getting destroyed on the DAT. There's a study guide somewhere that students have found and it's only telling students to do part of the book. What's going on? What's your recommendation? We've got to help these students. I have heard there are a few companies that try to tell students not to do the whole DAT Destroyer. Um, it's an absolute must to do all the problems because all the problems in the destroyer have many, many concepts that are going to be needed for the DAT exam. Now, the best way I think to do the DAT destroyer is, first of all, ask yourself what is it and what is it not. First of all, it is not a silver bullet like many people make you believe buy this program or buy that program and do these problems and you're automatically going to be a genius. You need to go over the basics before you even do the book. Now what I would recommend before anybody even picks up the destroyer book is to briefly go over the three disciplines that we need. For instance, in organic chemistry, I love the Klein book. Even an old edition would suffice just to go over all the different types of reactions. Now, once you thought you've gone over those reactions um, and you understand many of the principles, then if you picked up the DAT Destroyer, I'm looking at 25 must-know reactions. If any of these reactions seem a little bizarre to you, that gives you the red flag right away. You need to go back over the material before you even begin the book. For example... Can I stop you yeah. a second, Dr. Romano? Is that a Dad Destroyer book you have in front of it you? It is a Dad Destroyer book. What have you got the book out? Are you working on maybe looking for some new stuff for I'm our 2017... All, I'm always to, adding new problems. I um, met the 2018 the book. The 2018 book will have many new problems. And um, I couldn't imagine a student not wanting to see those new problems. I've been teaching the DAT course for over 25 years now. Um, I always anticipate new questions and things of that sort, so not doing all this book, it's almost incomprehensible. It's like you're a runner and you're only doing part of the race. You need to do all the problems in the book and most of all read the explanations because the explanations are filled with little tidbits and gems of information that can also help you on other questions. Dr. Armada, one other question I get asked a lot. Students want to use your book like a time test. I don't think that's the right way to attack the book. What is your view on that? In my class, we average between 25 and 30 on the sciences. And I think the time test um, isn't as helpful as you understanding the material. Um, there's too many students that are worrying about time test and being duped for better choice of words, into thinking you do a few time tests and this is going to be the panacea to be able to score high in the DAT. You need to know the information. If you know the information, the, the DAT gives you more than enough time for you to complete the sciences. Wow, thank you, Dr. Romano. Do you have anything to add? I think if I'll recap, students need to do all the work in the book. They don't need to skip a single question. I know in the 2017 book, I believe there's close to 650 bio questions. Students get very overwhelmed by that and don't do all the work. Yet I've been getting emails from students only doing half of the work. Their scores are very low and they have to retake. Can you comment on that, all of those problems? Uh... Well, I think by doing only part of the work is the answer right there. You need to do all the problems and understand all those problems. Anything you don't understand, what I would recommend is either going back to one of the university textbooks like Campbell's. Campbell's, I do admit, is overwhelming, which you should have done in college. So you're not going to have that much time to go through 
1300 or whatever the Campbell book is. So I think Clips did a very nice job and so did the AP Barron's book, even the Kaplan book. All three of those books broke down the material and summarized. Um, however, I gotta admit, I really love the brand new book by Barron's. Um, they cleaned up a lot of errors and it's absolutely outstanding. And I recommend it to all my students and it's an easy read. So for the bio, I think the AP Barron's book would be a nice review and then do all the problems there. And the Campbell's gives an online exam, which we're gonna be putting on our website, um, free. So if you wanna do some clicking, you can click away free of charge from the Campbell's book. Excellent. Also, it's been rumored that there are, that you're working on new problems for the Math Destroyer. In June of this year, I do believe that the ADA started adding some um, comparison type problems on the DAT. Will those type of problems be added in the DAT Destroyer and your 2018? Absolutely. We've already have an arsenal of those problems already created and they're ready to go for our new edition. So those problems have been done. Actually, many of those problems have been done three years ago, um, which I anticipated they were gonna do the change, and those problems are all done. So as I'm speaking right now, um, those problems are ready to go. Excellent, do you have any last minute advice for the students? Yes, do all the groundwork necessary before you hit the destroyer. The groundwork meaning you gotta know the basics. Um, the Klein book for the organic, for the Gen Chem, I love the Raymond Chang book. Even if you get an older edition, the older edition of those books are fine, but all you need to do is go through the material. You don't need to go through those big, long questions. As long as you got the material under your belt, I think you're good to go. And the bio I already went over, I love Campbell's. If you don't have the time for Campbell's, I like Cliffs, I love Barron's, and I think the Kaplan is also quite, quite good for the depth. Thank you, Dr. Romano. Really appreciate your time today. Hope I find you again. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm off. Okay, bye-bye.